the more I think about this show, the copycat killer, I wonder why it's called that. Huh. Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Futon reviewing Copycat Killer. This is the 2023 Netflix show. I know this is based off another show because at the end credits, it always says based off of this, based off of this. Have I seen the original one? No, but what is this one about? Pretty simple premise. You're following a prosecutor who's trying to solve these horrible killings that are happening to girls around town. So did I like this show? I really did. I thought this was going to be more on the tame side, but it did decide to go hardcore when it needed to. I thought some of the acting was pretty good. The design of the show was really good. Some of the stuff was really creepy and it had enough side characters that weren't boring and brought life and new aspects to this role. So let's talk about the positives of this show. I think being a 10 episode, about an hour each, the pacing's really good. And this Taiwanese show does a really, really good job with the pacing. And I'm just like, yeah, when that episode was done, I was like, oh, shit, done. When that episode was done, I was like, oh, shit, an hour went by. That was pretty good. And then the overall look of the show being in Taiwan. And with these shows being like in Taiwan and Korea, these cop shows, they really know how to pique your interest and keep you invested into these different characters. Because this is a show where you're like, okay, that character's going to survive. That character's going to survive. That one's going to survive. You go, oh, that character didn't survive. Oh, that character just died a brutal death. I thought that person was going to make it or that person gets saved. That person didn't get saved either. So this is a bleak show where you're thinking, yeah, these most of these main characters are going to survive. No, and I think that's really puts a good positive spin. I know that's kind of weird, a positive spin where you don't know who's going to die. And that's how it is in real life of, you know, oh, kind of like the Fast franchise. Everyone's alive. You get alive. You get alive. You get alive. Here you're like, no, nope, this is some real shit. And when it does need to be graphic, it is graphic. And it gives people the dilemma of thinking they're doing something that's harmless, but then them realizing, wait a minute, who am I hanging out with? What am I doing with myself? So you have sympathy for some of these characters that even though they started on a bad path, they realize they really screwed up. And there's so many different side characters, which you're just like, that person's interesting. She's interesting. He's interesting. And there's very, very few characters where I'm just like, eh. And I'll talk about that one character at the very end of this thing. Right in the review. Of course it's a thing. It's a review. But yes, it looks good. It's acted extremely well. It's directed well. There's good production value. And it does have that creepy va factor to it as well. There's very few shows where you're just like, eh. I'm kind of creeped out here. I guess it's because it's about s and and going down this deep, dark path of, like, sexuality and, you know, grooming. So it kind of gets you like, yeah, this is a little gross. Because, yeah, this talks about grooming people to do what you want them to do. 100% this is a groomer show. And is grooming happening right now? Yeah, it, it, it is with some of the education system. But um, when we're talking about this. And when you actually figure out who is the actual killer, you kind of figure it out. So that's kind of like a negative where you're like, yeah, I kind of know who it's going to be. But that actor does a complete 180, and it's really, really fun to watch. So when I'm talking about the negatives, there's really, really two I have with this show. It's one of the main characters. She is a reporter that is trying to figure out who killed her best friend when coming to Taiwan or going to a different part of Taiwan. Something about her in the show, just some of her dialogue, some of her antics, just didn't click with the overall message of the show. She would randomly cry. She would randomly, like, complain. And randomly say something. Yeah, she would have a nice glare, like, staring glare. But something about her character arc just didn't arc enough for me. And some of her antics, I was just like, what are you doing? Don't be silly. Don't be stupid. But it's okay. You kind of need that one character to kind of try to be the weak one. But understand this show, like... I don't think you needed weak characters in this show. And she just gave off too weak of a... just. It was just too weak. And I was just a little bit bummed about that. And finally, the very end. Was I satisfied with the final episode? Yes and no. I liked how they decided to like give each character its little send-off. Which I was okay with that. 
but someone got away too cheap. That's all I'm going to say. It happened, and the person who did it ran away. I want to know who was that person in that mask. You don't figure out who it is. And just the person that, you know, the narcissistic tendencies, I understand it, but I just felt like, eh, ah, I felt like it should have been a more of a brutality death because we're going to show brutality of what killings did occur with beheadings and stuff like that. But with this one is more of a send off where you're just like, felt a little cheap and I was a little bit bummed about that. But overall, copycat killer, extremely well done. 10 episodes went by super quick. I enjoyed it. What more do you want from me? If you like cop dramas, if you like serial killer dramas, if you like Asian shows that do it well, this one is for you. So Copycat Killer will receive a 4 out of 5 of futons, which equals that 80%. So let's see the critics news course gave this one. You have the critics at 85%. Oh, sorry. That's with the, that's with the audience score. Audience scores at 85% with fewer than 50. Critics, there's two of them, and we have a negative and a positive. So, 50%. The guy that gave it a positive was a 4 out of 5, same as me. The guy that gave it a negative said it's not exactly in-depth stuff. Does it really need to be in-depth? Are serial killers really in-depth people? Some of them aren't. And this one didn't need to be because there's that many side characters that kept you intertwined, intertwined entertain intertwine entertain combined to enjoy this so anyway i guess 50 85 80 chase talk with the blue futon like comment subscribe let me know things futon topia futon is the great damn car just if we, i don't care if you watch this today tomorrow week from now month from now a year from now i love every single one of you sometimes i try to do that but then you know saliva's in your mouth ah. i don't know why I, this is not a kiss concert stop it